Welcome back to the Dividend Diplomats YouTube channel, everybody. Today we have a very exciting video for you. We are stepping back into the ring and we are going to have a nice battle royale between two restaurant giants. Smash that subscribe button. Give Bert and I a thumbs up as Bert's going to be eating fast food all day, every single day as a dividend investor to help keep his stock price going and the dividend cash flowing. You gotta support that dividend somehow, Andy. Yeah, so, you know, Bert will be eating cheeseburgers for breakfast, chicken sandwiches in the afternoon, and maybe, oh, I don't know, an ice cream sundae to finish off the night. That sounds like a perfect nightcap to me. So no, all jokes aside, Bert's not eating fast food three, six times a day, 20, you know, something times a week. It's actually the big dividend stock battle right now. We're talking about the Golden Arches and Restaurant Brands International. But who is Restaurant Brands International? They have got three major brands that you are aware of. Burger King, Tim Hortons, and Popeye's Finger Licking yep. Good Chicken, baby. Louisiana Chicken. Yeah, that is right. I can't believe that I almost forgot Popeye's. I just got so excited to talk about Burger King and Tim Hortons. That one slipped my mind. You know, personally, I was always a Whopper guy. Yeah. I don't know about you. Oh, me too. Growing up, I always preferred going to Burger King over McDonald's. What would you get at Burger King? Oh, I would just get some nice double cheeseburgers, some french fries. I will say this. I was a big McDonald's double cheeseburger, egg white McMuffin fan. Burger King, I always had to get the Whopper. And then, I don't know, Popeye's Chicken, I have yet to actually try out that new hot chicken sandwich that they came out that had driven drive through lanes out yeah. to the freaking streets. You wouldn't have even been able to get a chance to try it because they were sold out before you knew it. That's how hot Popeye's new product was. I'm pretty sure celebrities even were cr coming out with pictures, Instagram videos, Facebook posts about them either having somebody go get it for them or how excited they were that they were lucky enough. And these are celebrities, yeah. millionaires, billionaires, lucky enough to even get one of their chicken sandwiches. And to me, that's how you know you have a great product right there. Not just because it tastes great and people loved how, how it felt when they were eating it, but also the hype around it and how much people were talking about Popeyes during that time. And then you're here for a reason. You're a dividend investor. Mm -hmm. Bert and I were the dividend diplomats. So the question came to be, with these drive through lines out to the streets, which company between McDonald's and Restaurant Brands International is the better dividend mm -hmm. stock investment? And there's only one way to figure out and answer this question. It's to run the companies through the, the Dividend, dividend Diplomat, Diplomat Dividend, dividend stock, stock Screener. That's right. Over the years, we have perfected our stock screener to use three simple metrics to help us find undervalued dividend growth stocks for our portfolio. Lanny, what are these metrics? You know the three dividend metrics. We've talked about it many times before. It's the price to earnings ratio, your favorite dividend payout ratio, and lastly, dividend growth and dividend growth rate. So let's put McDonald's, let's put restaurant brands, let's pit them in the ring together and see which one comes out on top in our stock screener. Let's see who holds up the title at the end of this. So we're gonna kick things off with McDonald's, the Golden Arches, simply because they've been around, they've increased their dividend, they're a dividend aristocrat, a top five foundation stock for your portfolio. And based on current stock prices as of September 4th, we really wanna use the most current information to help you as a dividend investor on your journey to financial freedom to make the best dividend investment decision possible. So with McDonald's, ticker symbol MCD, what's going to you know be their price to earnings ratio, Bert? Yeah, their price to earnings ratio is 26 right now, which oddly compared to the current market, that's actually in line because the market's trading close to 30. However, historically speaking, the S&P 500 has a PE ratio between 18 to 20, so McDonald's is trading at a nice premium compared to the broader market historically. Interesting. All right, so 26 PE ratio. We're not talking about, you know, just price to earnings ratio and burn. I'm not talking about price to, you know, egg McMuffin ratio here. I mean, trading at a 26 times earnings multiple, that means you're paying $26 for every $1 they're earning. Yeah, so for the $1 fries that you're paying, that's a $26 per share. 
Oh man, no. <laughs> Please do not write that note down while you're watching this video. But what you do want to know as a dividend investor is the dividend diplomat stock metric two, the dividend payout ratio. Yeah, Lanny said it earlier, we use that 60% threshold because we believe that's a nice amount to show that you're rewarding shareholders, but you're not paying out too much of your earnings, threatening the safety of the dividend. 60% that metric, McDonald's, their current payout ratio, it's 62%, so just a hair over that mark. Just a hair, just a fry over that mark. Um, th does that have you alarmed though that they're just over that 60% dividend payout ratio? No, I don't, I mean, 2% over, not bad in my mind. There's still plenty of room before they reach 100%. If they were at 80, 90, or 100%, then I would be running for that door right over there. Yeah, or right, running right to the drive-through, you know, <laughs> just to get that $1 cheeseburger. It tastes the same. Yeah, it is what it is. It's what it is. All right, so now that we've talked about the first two metrics, Bert, there's a lot of history to the McDonald's stock. I know you have it in your portfolio. I know I have it in my dividend portfolio. Give me a reason why here with the dividend growth. It's because they are a dividend aristocrat. They have increased their dividend for 43 consecutive years. And wait a second, we're releasing this video in September. You know what that means, Lanny? A dividend increase this month? That is right. September is the month that McDonald's historically increases their dividend. So come the end of September, we should be expecting that 44th consecutive dividend increase. And depending on who wins the dividend increase expectation, Bert may paint himself white, paint his lips red and grow red hair. And we'll, we'll call him, you know, Burt McDonald. Hey. Robert McDonald. Whatever gets me that dividend increase, you I'll take it, here. it. You heard it here. <laughs> oh, my. We don't leave any stone unturned here for the diplomats to see our income increase. You know, so, and here's a little bonus metric for McDonald's. Um, not only do they serve juicy cheeseburgers, but they also have a decently juicy dividend yield. Um, right now, over 2.36 which is above the S&P 500 market. Yeah, that's right actually a nice premium compared to the market here. Yeah. But you know, I, I would actually prefer a higher dividend yield, but that's obviously, you know, goes hand in hand with the higher price to earnings ratio. Um, but in summary, McDonald's has a 26 PE ratio, just north of 60% on the dividend payout ratio. They have over 43 plus consecutive years of dividend increases. Um, with an above average yield currently. Yeah, I mean, those are all great metrics here for McDonald's, but this is a battle royale. It's not just one company, right? Bert? Yeah, we're not stopping at McDonald's. Where are we stopping next? On we're, our, we're, on going, our we're going to restaurant brands Inc. here. Let's now head over to Tim Hortons, pick up some coffee, let's go grab a Whopper, and then let's get that dessert fried chicken sandwich from Popeyes and do a full blown analysis here of restaurant brands. So Lanny, Let's start right in. What's that price to earnings or price to Whopper ratio here for restaurant brands? Well, Restaurant Brands International, ticker symbol QSR, um, has actually a lower price to earnings ratio than McDonald's. That's not to say that they're you know, a better company right off the bat, but yeah. they only trade at just north of 20 times earnings or 20 PE ratio. Yeah, as just above the historical market and below the current market levels and definitely lower than McDonald's. So they're trading at less per earnings uh, than McDonald's, which is good. But what about the safety in our dividend stock metric number two? How's that dividend payout ratio look? So this is actually where it's getting a little interesting. Their dividend payout ratio is 76% currently. So Oof. that's obviously above our 60%. And I know I said I'd be a little more concerned when I'm running and running towards the door if I saw 80%, 90%, 100%. 76% doesn't give me the best feeling in my stomach. So I'll have to look at some other metrics for the company. That's definitely higher than what I like to see but the Whopper's flame grilled. It is. It's gotta cost a little bit more to, hit, to heat that broiler, Lanny, so maybe that's why the earnings are a little bit lower and the dividend payout ratio is higher. Definitely a high payout ratio than what we'd like to see because that's obviously the safety of the dividend, but as an investor, you want growth in your income. As a mm -hmm. dividend investor on that journey to financial freedom, you want your passive income stream to grow. So the dividend growth rate could be you know, you know, it could suffer with the high dividend payout ratio. Yeah, I agree. And I know our third metric's dividend growth, but I want to parlay into a quick point here with the dividend payout ratio. Let's jump to the fourth metric here, their dividend yield, because at least for me, if I'm going to see a higher dividend payout ratio than McDonald's, something closer to 
I better see a higher dividend yield when I'm looking at this stock. So Lanny, what is Restaurant Brands' current dividend yield? They're currently pretty much over two times what the market's doing. They're at 3.7%. So you definitely get a premium with the yield um, than McDonald's. And that goes hand in hand with that higher dividend payout ratio. So every hundred dollars of an investment with Restaurant Brands, you're getting $3.70. Yeah. Enough per for one lunch. <laughs> That is true. You can definitely keep the lunch under there. Get a nice coffee and bagel there at Tim Hortons as well if you prefer breakfast. All the options are on the table. So I'm sorry, I know I jumped around the metric four, but I just wanted to highlight the fact that with a higher dividend pair ratio, you can see how their yield is much higher as well. So what's that dividend growth rate look like? So their dividend growth rate is still, it's still relatively low. They've only increased their dividend for four consecutive years, so they still got a long way to go before they reach that dividend aristocrat status. You have to start somewhere. You don't just instantly come and become a dividend aristocrat at 25 years. You gotta start from zero and get to 25. But Restaurant Brands has a long way to go and a lot can happen in the next 21 years. You know, I know Tim Hortons is just entering the US market, trying to penetrate it even more. So there could be some very strong positive growth, you know, going forward. Um, but in summary, Restaurant Brands has a 20-ish price to earnings ratio, above average yield at 3.7%, a dividend payout ratio at 76%, and their dividend growth streak is only at four years. So Bert, this is what we're all here to see. Who would you take here right now, McDonald's or Restaurant Brands International? Interesting, interesting. So I'll split this into two, two answers here. If I were buying a stock today, yes. I might, say neither because both are trading at a trading at a high multiple compared to the market and the one that i'm preferring which is the second answer if i have to pick one of the two companies i would pick mcdonald's based on their dividend growth history and their lower payout ratio however to come back to point number one on this I'm still passing on either, but if I were going to pick one, it would be McDonald's, but they're both looking a little expensive today. Interesting, yeah. And, what about you, Lanny? Well, I would say if I, you know, if they if they put the cheeseburger to my head to pick one, I if, would... If the Hamburglar came busting through this door and made you pick one, who would you If they put the pick? king from Burger King here, the Hamburglar, I'm going with the Hamburglar probably just because of the history. You know, their food, they don't have to change it too much. Um, you know, the dividend growth prospects look better. Your safety looks better. Um, but if I had an option to, to invest or to not invest, yeah. I would also be on the sidelines and wait for a slight correction in the stock price, um, you know, to hopefully get a better yield as well as a better price to earnings multiple. Yeah, and if the market came down and I had to pick, I would pick McDonald's. I think that's a great point. If you do see a sudden drop, McDonald's is a great option. So what, what would you think? Yeah. What do you like better? Where do you actually go to eat? Do you go to Restaurant Brands International, one of their three companies, or yeah. McDonald's? Or neither, and do you pick Wendy's? Ooh, mm, we could have almost turned into to a uh, you know three-man uh, battle here, but let us know, what stock would you pick? Do you prefer Restaurant mm -hmm. Brands International or McDonald's? Yeah. Please leave that in the comments yeah. below the description. And again, if you are enjoying our channel and enjoying some of these stock analyses, please give this video a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button so that we know we can keep delivering content like this to you because that's what it's all about. That's we are all going to reach about. financial freedom together. This is Burton Laney from the Dividend Diplomats. Over, Over and out. out.